Okay, Jaybird here. So, probably gonna lose some subscribers from this video, but I don't give a fuck. I don't... I do this to help people. And you can subscribe, so come back, leave, I don't really care. I just wanna help... I just wanna help people. I wanna help people in my situation who are sort of struggling with a, you know, a vegan diet or, a, you know, a college lifestyle. You know, what to do, what not to do. So, like I always say, my videos are full of or just full transparency. You can ask me anything in the world. I'll answer it. Um, just, all right. So full transparency. So last night, after two years of not drinking any alcohol, I had around like 200 milliliters of red wine or, uh, I don't know, like two cups, something like that. Two glasses. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Um, and, um, well, maybe it's three years since I've drank. Anyway, reason... Why I did it doesn't matter. Peer pressure. I wanted to experiment. That's that's not the point of this video. The point is, is to share with you what happened to my body after that. So obviously that's not that much alcohol, but um, you know when you're eating so clean, when you're eating so clean for so long, when you're treating the body right for so long, um, just uh, your body just sort of it can't tolerate that shit anymore. So. Drinking the toxin, I feel it immediately. My face just turns all red. My lips are bright red. Um, I'm, or I'm starting to feel loopy. Now, and that was fucking after a sip. And then I had 200 milliliters on top of that. So, it was a serious experiment. Um, uh, again, not condone. I think alco drinking alcohol is... Um, if you're a health guru, obviously it's not good. And if somebody promotes red wine or alcohol for health reasons it's stay away from that because that's fucked up i'm not saying alcohol is good i'm just sharing what happened to me so that hopefully you can relate and whatever so stayed up till 3 30 last night i usually go to bed you know no later than 10 uh so 3 30 a.m didn't get home till like around four had to wake up and be somewhere at uh 8 30 so I think I got two hours of sleep. So between that, the alcohol, um, and I wasn't drinking water, so I was just drinking the alcohol essentially from 11 until like 3. So just, I mean, not that much. It's a lot. I mean, it's toxic as shit. So not drinking any water from then. So I had a really bad case of the dry mouth when I was drinking it. Again, I could feel my body reacting, you know, my heart feeling weird, um, just wasn't I, I could just feel my body say no and trying to pump this shit out of me um so so yeah so that happened and then this morning i usually drink a, a liter of water um when i wake up you know just sip it casually i chugged three liters of water this morning and i was still thirsty i i think i've drank like i don't know six liters so far today and it's so <sighs> basically Again, the point of this video is not, you know, is not to, to flaunt out, you know, drinking alcohol. You can be, you can drink alcohol on a vegan diet. Of course you fucking can. But this point of the video is to say, you know, if you're going to drink, know the consequences. Know the consequences. Don't fucking fool yourself and say, oh yeah, you know, it's it's for health and it's, uh, it's once in a while, that's okay. You know, so... So basically what I'm saying is, if you want to be healthy, avoid the alcohol, avoid the late nights. Yeah, okay, one late night, once in a while is fine. But don't think that you have to drink at a party. If you're at college, don't think you have to drink at a party to be cool or whatever. Whenever I go to parties and stuff, or just hanging out, people are drinking, I never drink. And you know, if you if you ever notice, it's always the people that get smashed or the people that are just, you know, not comfortable with themselves or, you know, awkward um, in, you know, sober situations. So, so I don't condone drinking. Um, I think it's, it's extremely unhealthy. It's toxic to the fucking body. And, you know, just fruits, vegetables, water, vegan foods, early nights, shitload of water so you're peeing clear. And, uh, you'll feel, you'll feel the best you've ever felt. You know, okay, yeah, you know, you could say, oh, I'm getting it out of my system. I'm going to these college parties. I'm getting drunk and 
I'm just getting out of my system, getting out of my system. Well, guess what? All the people that I know from my freshman year said they were getting out of their system. They're potheads now. They're going out to party every night. They're drinking at 2 in the afternoon. They're all this shit. Every single one of them that said, oh yeah, I'm just getting out of my system. I'm just getting out of my system. Bullshit. That's not the case. So, all these people that say say that or, you know, if you're saying that to yourself, don't bullshit yourself. You're worth a lot more than that. And you know that. So realize your infinite wealth. Realize the infinite abundance of the universe, God, nature, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Just realize your full potential and respect your body. Respect your body and don't treat it like a morgue with animal products and corpses and don't treat it like a chemistry experiment with drugs and alcohol and caffeine, which is fucking terrible for the body. It's like cocaine. Just be high on life. Eat clean. Get great relationships. Get great nights of um, frenzied sex. Great nights of sleep. And just follow your bliss, follow your passion. That's all I gotta say. Subscribe if you're still with me, if you still feel me. Um, if, if this video didn't turn you off, um, again, it's about fucking hopping back on the wagon. You know, you could say, "Oh yeah, you know, I, I didn't eat enough calories, so uh, you know, I'm just gonna have some KFC and it'll be fine, right?" That's how people fall off the wagon. That's how more animals die. That's how more people are exploited. That's how the planet gets more fucked up. Because you have this mentality of, oh yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this, and you know, if I don't do this, then I'll, oh fuck, I'll just go back to the way I was eating, the way I was living, instead of actually wanting the real results and doing what it takes. So yeah, you fall off the wagon. When I went, went, first went vegetarian, when I first went vegan, I was falling off the wagon constantly. It's because I wasn't getting enough carb calorie. And then once I did, once you keep learning, and once you realize, once you realize what you want and. And if what you want is a healthier body, a healthier mind, you won't want drugs because you'll have that goal. And then you'll realize that, holy shit, life is just too amazing to go by high any moment. And you could be saying, oh, yeah, you know, if my mates go out, you know, once a month to, you know, to the bar or whatever. Fine. You know, go to the bar. I say don't drink, but you don't need to drink to have fun. Okay. I don't care what you say to yourself, whatever. So again, subscribe if I didn't scare you yet. Again, this my channel is about full transparency. Any guru that, you know, says, oh yeah, I'm pure, I'm pure, I'm pure, it's such bullshit. You know, oh, I'm 100% uh, raw vegan, but, uh, you know, I, I drink cacao and cacao juice and, yeah, I, I have uh, mushrooms for my spiritual, my spiritual prowess and, oh, I, I drink, uh, you know, fair trade coffee. So follow the people that are getting the results that you want. Follow the people that are giving you the transparency so you can do what they do and see what they do and say, oh, okay, well, that makes sense or that doesn't make sense and do your own research. So if this made sense, like this video. Again, making this to make the point of hopping back on the wagon. It doesn't matter what happens. Just realizing your actions have a consequence and learning from them. So I learned, holy shit, Alcohol dries you out like a motherfucker. Holy shit, it's toxic as hell from my body's reactions. Okay, so done, done, done. Again, like this video. Share this video with somebody who's struggling in college, you know, not knowing, oh, should I go to parties? Should I drink? Should I do this? Should I do that? Can I still be healthy? So, if you want a healthy diet, avoid the alcohol, avoid the drugs, get carbed up, get sleeped up, you know, work something out with your roommate so, okay, you know... You can go study in the study hall, you know, after 10 p.m. And I'll make you breakfast in the morning. You know, just work it out. It'll always work. Just have the mindset. Positive energy up the wazoo. This is Jaybird signing out. We'll see you soon. Peace. Put your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Peace.